sometimes like fighters go to travel gyms and that travel gym speaks, you know, so high of them that they get pulled into the UFC a little early. You end up getting Mark Bosek. He's Canadian, but Greg Jackson put his name on Mark as a high end fighter and you two end up meeting. And, um, man, that was, I can't use four. No, never passed the first round. He went to Jackson's, you know, checked all the boxes there. Greg brings him in against yourself. And, uh, you kind of baptize him into the UFC. Do you recall that one? I do. Yeah, yeah. That was a great one. Uh, I, I knew he was very dangerous. I think he was like 80 CC vet, um, real high level jiu-jitsu guy. So uh, that's what I was like, all right, now, you know, I've been working my hands a lot. Let's, let's, you know, let's try to play the game where don't let him take me down and we'll see how his hands, his hands are. And I was able to crack, get, get, you know, get him with a couple cracks and, until I felt comfortable enough to fall to the mat and, and finish him with some ground and pound. See, Frankie, you showed here, you don't have a lot of fight experience at this time, but you know, you've got high end experience, but not like a lot of miles. You showed a lot of maturity in it because you dropped him in like the first couple exchanges. And rather than jump on him and maybe kind of rush something that wasn't there, you showed patience and you waited. I, I, it, was that something from like a lot of sparring in practice or is that just a high in ring IQ? Yeah, I, you know, I just think uh, it, it was the high. I mean, I'm not that I'm saying I have this high uh, ring IQ or anything, but uh, I just felt in that fight, you know, we, we, we did anticipate him, you know, dropping him and not rushing to follow him down just because of his jiu-jitsu level, you know. So maybe that that was in my head. I knew kind of, you know, take my time to, to, for this finish. And you also got <laughs> dropped for the first time in that bout. I did. You know, it was crazy. He actually hit me with a jab. That literally hit just my nose. Nothing else. Like, my head must have been side. I don't know how. It, my nose on the other side of my face, though, <laughs> after that fight. And yeah. uh, he literally hit just my nose. And I got, like, it was like a flash knockdown. I remember falling. I'm like, what the hell? And I got right up. But, yeah, he definitely rung my belt. That, that gave me a concussion, too. Just from wow. breaking. Yeah. I have a question here. So, check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms.